Ever since the first automobile rolled off the assembly line, Americans have loved the road trip. Ah, the open road. History and adventure around every turn. The scenery, the purple mountain's majesty, and unfortunately, rubber on the road. Debris from tires everywhere. It's an eyesore. It's dangerous. It's everywhere. Besides the rising cost of gasoline, one of American motorists' biggest gripes is debris on the highway, also known as rubber on the road. People are talking about safety. All of a sudden, I had to swerve to avoid this big chunk of rubber in the road. I almost hit into the barrier. This big chunk of rubber just flew up, hit my windshield. People are talking about danger to the environment. More trash for the landfills? Like we need more landfills. Mostly, People are talking about what they think is the number one culprit. And you guessed it. Retreads. 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 Well, talk is one thing. Getting the facts straight about rubber on the road is another. So what are the facts about rubber on the road? Number one, and this might surprise everyone, that's right. Retreads are not the primary cause of rubber on the road. I know what I know. Retreads are cheap alternatives. They're just not safe. Fact? The truth is, that commonly held belief is purely fiction. And the reason for that is fact number two. That's right. Study after study reveal that the number one cause of road debris is excessive heat. In other words, both new and retreaded tires fail for the same reason. And the reason we know that is because of a series of comprehensive studies that were conducted to determine the effects of rubber on the road and what causes it. Studies like the one commissioned by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Here's how it worked. First, thousands of pounds of tire fragments were collected from various parts of the country. Tire debris was gathered from a range of landscapes such as interstates and other flat roadways where motorists travel at higher speeds. Samples were also collected from areas with rolling hills where brakes are frequently applied, as well as from a variety of climate zones to determine the effects of temperature on tire wear. Then the experts were called in. Like forensic investigators at a crime scene, samples were methodically inspected, evaluated, analyzed and reanalyzed. Their findings revealed what might surprise the skeptics, and that is, the results indicate the majority of tire debris collected was not a result of manufacturing or deficiencies in the retread process. Once again, new tires can fail just as easily as retreaded tires. The main offender? Excessive heat, caused by tires that are operating underinflated, overloaded, or running at excessive speeds. Here's what happens. When underinflated or overloaded tires are driven too long, too far, or too fast, the excessive heat generated by the additional flexing causes the internal components of the tire to break down. But excessive heat is just one of the reasons cited for tire failure. Studies revealed a long list of possible causes including maintenance issues like excessive wear, improper tire repair, and damage during the mounting-demounting process. But that's not all. Road hazards, punctures, running into objects such as curbs and potholes were all cited as possible causes of tires falling apart. Once again, the results of the study indicate the majority of tire debris collected was not a result of manufacturing or deficiencies in the retread process. It seems like retreads are always getting a bad rap for one reason or another. I know what I know, and retreads are just cheap alternatives. They're just not safe. There's that safety issue again. Fact is, that's just not true. The truth is, retreaded tires perform just as well as new tires. Retreads can also be driven at the same speed as new tires and deliver similar mileage. Retreads are used safely every day on school buses, fire engines and ambulances, trucking fleets, taxis, and government and military vehicles. All commercial airlines, as well as military jet aircraft, use retreaded tires. 
In fact, nearly 80% of all aircraft tires now in service in the United States are retreads. Retreads save money, too. A retreaded tire costs less to produce than a new tire and sells for less, usually between 30 and 50% less. By using retreaded tires, commercial trucking fleets, airlines, and state and local governments are saving millions of dollars per year. That's the great news when it comes to the cost of living. But there's even better news. Yes, retreaded tires are environmentally friendly. Medium truck tires require approximately 22 gallons of oil to process. It takes only seven gallons to retread. Retreads save hundreds of millions of gallons of oil every year and other raw materials, such as natural rubber, steel, and carbon black. Retreading tires also has the potential to make a substantial contribution to reducing carbon emissions. The retreading process generates over 70% less emissions than production of a new tire. Instead of ending up in landfills, used tires that have been retreaded can continue their useful lives for thousands of more miles. And finally, retreading is not only saving millions of scrap tires from disposal each year, but almost 100% of the waste from the process can be reused to create useful products. I get the picture. I was wrong about retreads. But we're still dealing with all that rubber on the highway, right? Right. Which brings us to fact six. The question now is, how? The answer is, it's going to take an effort from everyone that owns or drives an automobile or truck. Basic tire maintenance is the key. Number one, maintain the tire manufacturer's recommended tire pressure for the load. Regularly check it with a properly calibrated gauge. And now, thanks to modern technology, inflation issues may eventually be a thing of the past with the introduction of breakthroughs such as tire pressure monitoring and automated inflation systems. Inspecting tires on a regular basis is another key to safety maintenance. Look for and remove any foreign objects or debris like stones, pieces of glass or metal that might have become wedged between the tread blocks. Look for uneven or irregular tread wear, shallow tread, damaged areas, cracks, splits, punctures and holes. Make sure wheels are properly aligned. Passenger car drivers should rotate and balance their tires regularly. Most manufacturers recommend every six to 8,000 miles. Finally, make sure to replace tires when the wear bars and the grooves are worn even with the tread blocks on either side. So what you're saying is if everyone does his or her own part, there's no more rubber on the road, right? No, but it's a goal worth working toward. And just think how much safer everyone will be, regardless of whether they're driving on retreads or not. Ah, the open road. History and adventure around every turn. The scenery, the purple mountain's majesty, and maybe someday, a lot less rubber on the road. We can all do it, and that's a fact.